Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of The Safe Woman. I know it's been a very, very long time since I've made a video, but now, you know, I'm back, you know, with this video because, you know, I know a lot of people have been telling me, oh, you know, don't make YouTube videos anymore, you know, where are the videos? But here they are now. And yeah, I'm just really excited to be back. And thank you so much for your patience, most importantly. So I just thought to do, you know, a video, basically what's been going on with me. And by the way, if you like these things I'm wearing, I'm actually in soon you know that business i sell and car stuff made in nigeria over here in the uk so just if you're people interested you know we can do bespoke anything that you are interested in just let me know you know yeah so what's been up with me lately so last year as at september i began my master's in broadcast journalism here at nottingham trent university it's been a great experience you know, i've learned so much during the course of my degree it's been really you know interesting a bit tough sometimes but god always gives me the grace and we some support too so i would say it's a good type of challenge and it's not like oh my gosh i'm dying but it's been you know a really healthy experience of growth learning learning how to communicate learning how to lead because you know when we have news days or news weeks they get us to play different radio roles like presenter reporter editor producer so you kind of get the opportunity to lead people and you know just also be able to work in a team so that's the educational part of it it's been interesting and um, I'm going to be doing a documentary on the Benin Bronzes, which I've gone out to film. Hey guys, I'm so excited because I'm almost done filming my final project, as in God is so good. I'll share the testimony in a longer video when I get back to England because it's been really busy. I went out to film it, I think, about, about two weeks ago, yes, I was in Nigeria. So most of this video is going to be about my trip to Andrea. So I'm doing it on the reclamation of the Benin bronzes. But I would say that no matter what you're going through, no matter the challenge, you know, always just trust God for strength, ask him for wisdom in those, you know, trying seasons. And, you know, God, there's a scripture that really said that in where the Bible is talking about, in, I think it's in James, James 2? No, actually, James 1. Yes, James 1. Bible is talking about how if we lack wisdom, we first of all starts with, you know, when we are when we are faced with trials, we should not consider that these trials are from God. We shouldn't consider them to be from God. But we should understand that in the trials, you know, God is working our patience, He's building our faith, He's working our patience and we'll be perfect and entire. And it says that if you lack wisdom, you should ask. So it just shows me that, you know, in everything we face that seems like a challenge. All we actually need is the wisdom of God to know what to do in that situation. I love what the Bible says about Jesus and himself knew what to do. So I've just been asking God for wisdom. That's John 6, 6, asking God for wisdom. So that's that. And then my trip to Nigeria, my trip to Nigeria was fantastic. Man, like it was a long awaited trip. You know, I've been saying I'm going December, I'm going April, I'm going December, September, whatever. It got to before my siblings were like, when we see you, we'll see you. <laughs> because I just kept on changing. But, you know, it was really nice to be back home in April, seeing everybody, you know, doing well. My baby nephew was born like three, four weeks. I think it's about a month now. But when I had got, <clears throat> when I was in Nigeria, I was about two weeks old. I'll put a picture of him. He's so, so cute. I think he's the most adorable baby in the world. Argue with your screen. <laughs> but yeah, um, it was just a nice trip. Missing my family. For those of you that don't know, I have. For those of you that don't know, I have 10 siblings and, you know, just catching up with, really, I only, I couldn't see two of my siblings through this period because it was kind of impossible to see them. You know, one of them doesn't work, was working outside. Long story, but I couldn't see both of them long, that's just summary. But it was nice seeing everybody, seeing that everybody is doing well, seeing my nieces and my nephews, just really bonding. Family bonds are so important, you know. If you are living here in the UK, please make out time to see your family if they're in Nigeria or anywhere else in the world. Make out time even if it's once a year. So my trip was nice. Got home I think on the on the Monday night. On the Monday morning. That's the first thing. I feel so hot. Got home to Abuja. The heat was already welcoming me back home. Saw my family in Abuja. I went to Benin, filmed my documentary. 
you know, cut up with some friends. It was just a fantastic experience, particularly filming my documentary. The interviews I did, I met with the chief, you know, he's one of the prominent chiefs in Benin. I met with the curator of the Benin Museum. Um, I interviewed people from the, I interviewed the bronze casters at the Benin bronze casting, you know, location, Egon Street, if you have been in Benin. You know, it was just really nice. And of course, I ate so much, guys. My mom was like, yeah, you, your mouth is not really cl it's not closing. That's what she kept telling me. In the morning, Akara, there is more, more, there's beans, there's plantain, there's rice, there's fruit, there's fruit, everything. I was just eating meat, eating out, as in, eating, as I was just eating, guys. It was like, I was eating all the food I've not eaten in two years. Or in, all the food I've not eaten. That's what I was trying to do. And then, after happening, I, I saw my dad as well. Oh, I'm a daddy's girl, like my dad, my parents. My dad turned 77, guys. I mean, 77. It's not a small age, he turned 77. It was just amazing. And my parents celebrated, I think, their 35th wedding anniversary. So I keep doing this it's because I feel like you guys are not seeing me well. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be right. But yeah, it was just a great experience seeing family. Um, one part I didn't quite like is the packing, the load, having to carry stuff for people. Because you, sometimes some people tell you, oh, get this for me, you want to help them at the detriment of your own, you know, happiness. Because when I was coming back, I had excess package, which I had to take full responsibility for, for my own money. And I was like, guys, those of you that are watching this video, I told me, buy me this, buy me that. This, every time I'm traveling, I might not even tell you, like, you might not even know that I'm traveling. You might not even know, because it's going to be very, very cold, like, because I cannot be spending money. Except you pay, even if you pay excess luggage. So the truth is that excess luggage is something that anybody should avoid when they are traveling. Don't say things like, ah, I'll pay it, or people will pay it. No, don't stress yourself. It's really, really stressful carrying all those bags. And the truth is, when my when your bag is coming from UK to Nigeria, so I used to say, better care is taken of it than when you are going from Nigeria to England. When I was coming from Nigeria to England, my camera, not my camera, school's, mine is coming in Jesus' name, because I lost, I spot my, my camera got spot, so I'm expecting a new one. But my point is, like, it's, it, they take better care of their things from here than when you're coming, bringing it from Nigeria. Camera got cracked. My school was almost telling me, pay for it. But I just thank God. I was like, God, Lord, I need your favor. But yeah, my trip, that's my trip in some way. But well, most importantly, it was the bonding with my family that was the, <laughs> that was the greatest experience. And yeah, it's just amazing. I also was able to get a lot of books I've been wanting to get. Books on marriage, books on relationships, books on purpose, vision, spiritual gifts, the Holy Spirit. Ah, God was so good. Books that I would only get for like 10, 15, even 20 pounds. I was able to get them at really good prices. So I was just feeling like, ah, mission accomplished. I love to read. I love learning. I love reading anointed books. I think now I need to start reading more like fiction and, you know, books that would help me, you know, improve my like, fiction that would help me improve my storytelling and vocabulary. The trip was amazing. I had an amazing time. So that's a video in a nutshell. If you would like me to do a video on, you know, how to, what to do when you're traveling outside the UK, going back to Nigeria, what to do when you're coming from Nigeria to the UK, like if you're on holiday, just, you know, send me reply, send, type in your comments, and I'm happy to make that video as time goes on. But yeah, a lot of people have been telling me, oh, where did you do your hair? Hey, nice. I did it in Nigeria, guys. And the person that did it actually did a very good job. Let me show you. She did a very, very good job. I'm really impressed and I don't want the hair to get old. So I'm still trying to really maintain it so it doesn't get old. But that's the video guys. Thank you for your patience and make sure you like, share and subscribe. And remember to see Google Maps on all my social media platforms, which are only Instagram and Twitter. And basically I also leave a link to my to my Facebook page and my Instagram for my Ankara wares, which are very good by the way. The quality is fantastic. You don't want to see something that after three months it's already looking for you but that's by the wayside i'll leave everything in the description box below bye and god bless you i'll see you in my next video so i've been waiting for a bag for a long time guys did they go close But I know the direction. In, in, the, in, in the gate. In the other gate. Eh. How much should it take me? Ah, now, see how they tell me before.
Ah, thank you. I beg, 